First of all, in Europe, there are a number of important documents that lay the basis for the medical devices regulatory requirements. Along with the applicable directives and amendments, there are European or EN standards, NB Med recommendations and MedDev guidance documents. The directives outline the overall regulatory system. They are the highest level of regulations within the EU system and are directly incorporated into the national laws of the member states. Standards are there to outline specific requirements, either in a horizontal way, meaning applicable to all products, or in a vertical way, meaning applicable to specific products. Contrary to directives, standards are not mandatory, but when standards are incorporated into national laws, they become difficult to circumvent. Companies can set up their own requirements, but this would mean in most cases reinventing the wheel. Only when your product is very innovative and no guidance can be found in any of the standards, does it become necessary to develop methods adapted to your product. Such methods then need to take into account the specific risks inherent to your device, so that they can be minimized and not outweigh the benefits your product brings to the patient. Here are some of the more important and relevant EU directives that may be applicable to your products. Please take a minute to read through this and the next slide to get an overview of some of the topics covered by various EU directives. Directives are numbered starting with the year they were issued, followed by a unique sequential number, and ending with the EEC or EC suffix. Directives are not formally updated very often. They are usually amended through the issuance of another directive or by a separate directive, such as 2007-47-EC, amending Council Directives 90-385-EEC, 93-42-EEC, and 98 slash 8 slash EC.